Gentleman from two. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Of course, we know that most of us have made up our minds on this, and most of us know that the uh, ethics rule needs repair. Looking at the uh, report, though, if you will, with me, there's some contradictions here that concern me. One is that it says that she did not offer evidence to contradict evidence, and yet it accuses her of lying. If she did not offer evidence, it's pretty difficult to see how she could be lying. She is not free from the consequences of abusing or imprudently exercising. And I'm wondering what consequences, because here it says in the report specifically that it could lead to bullying. It can cause a chilling effect. Not that it did. There was no evidence that these things occurred. But in the committee's determination, these could have happened. And therefore, that is somehow conduct unbecoming. The total disrespect of the Ethics Committee. Well, now I understand why. I mean, if I were in the Ethics Committee and you were disrespecting me, I'd definitely want to have some means of enforcing that for the future. But it is about the committee. It's not about posting. I don't even see anything about posting in this report. So if we're going to accept this report, shouldn't it at least be consistent? Shouldn't it bear some kind of facts of harm, other than, of course, to the respect of the committee. Evasive, combative. We saw in the previous hearing how evidence was used in, from private conversations in the public. I can see why anyone would be concerned about sharing that could be used against you, just like a good lawyer will say, don't talk, don't speak. So the report itself is not worthy of our approval. Could have been written to the point, what was she charged with, what were the facts. Instead, we're uh, led to believe that it could have caused a problem, and because of a lack of cooperation, we're going to excise this censure. I won't be supporting the motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is there further debate?